Hi, my name's Josh. I'm the events coordinator here at Lone Pine State Park, Kalispell, Montana. The snow is finally starting to melt, and many people are starting to plan backpacking trips. An often overlooked part of backpacking is the important role that knots play, whether it's creating bear hangs, securing heavy loads or tents. There are many different uses that we can find for knots in the backcountry. Today, I'm going to show you how to tie several knots and what you might use them for. Let's get started. First up is the square knot. The square knot is particularly useful because it allows you to tie two pieces of rope together that are roughly the same thickness. Tying a good square knot is fairly simple. First, make two loops out of two different pieces of rope of roughly the same width. Then thread one loop through the other and grab the rest of the rope from one of the loops and pull it all the way through the other. Now pull it tight and you have a good sturdy square knot. Something important to note regarding the square knot, it's really only useful when you're tying together two pieces of rope that are roughly the same thickness. If you have two different pieces of rope that are different thickness, you're going to want to use the double sheet bed knot, which is right here. It's a little bit more complicated, but I'm going to show you how to do it right now. First, take two pieces of rope of different thickness and make a loop in the thicker rope. Then, thread the thinner rope through the bottom of the thicker rope and wrap it around. After you've wrapped it around, take that rope and thread it underneath itself, and then again around the thicker rope. One more time, thread it underneath itself, and then start tightening the knot. As you tighten the knot, you'll need to shimmy it down the thicker rope, but be careful not to shimmy it too far, as that'll make the knot fall off the rope, as you can see here. You want to make sure to move the knot down slowly to make sure that it forms a tight bond over the thicker rope without falling off. This knot is particularly useful in a situation if you're trying to construct a bear hang, but your rope's not long enough. Using a square knot or a double sheet bend, you can tie two pieces of rope together and use that to construct your bear hang. For the next two knots, we're going to combine two into one, the bowline and the trucker's hitch. The bowline to secure the first rope to the tree, and the trucker's hitch to make sure that it's nice and tight. So we'll start off with the bowline. If you come and see right over here, we have the rope wrapped around the tree. The bowline's fairly simple. All you're going to want to do is you have your rope wrapped around the tree. You're going to want to take your end and put it under, like so. A little knot forms just even that out. And then you're going to want to loop around your other part of the rope under, and then through the hole that that just made, and then tighten that up well and good, right up to your tree like so. You can see that's not moving. And this knot is also adjustable depending on the size of your tree, so I can cinch that right up real close to the tree, and you can see I'm putting a lot of force on that. That's not going anywhere. Once you have your rope tied around the tree, you're going to want to take your other end of the rope and wrap it around your other tree. And now you can do a trucker's hitch. So take this rope and make a loop out of it. Now that you have a loop out of it, bring this through, like so, and look at that. Now you have another loop. This is the trucker's hitch. Then you're going to want to take the working end of your rope, this guy right here, the one that's wrapped around the tree, and you're going to want to run it through the trucker's hitch, and that'll tighten your entire rope, like a cinching mechanism. So if you watch right here, see that? Now your rope good and tight. You can pull it as tight as you need. Not bad. The closer you tie your trucker's hitch to the tree, the tighter your rope's going to be. And then you don't want to just leave it like this. You want to tie it off just by simply taking another loop, putting that loop underneath, and tying it off like so. Now this is a good sturdy knot. Let's say you're doing some backcountry trail work. You're walking down a real steep cliff trail, and you've got your trusty Pulaski with you that you just don't want to lose. What knot are you going to use to keep this Pulaski on your person? That's going to be the clove hitch, and I'll show you how to do it right now. You're going to start off by making two loops. One loop where the rope goes over itself, and one loop where the rope goes under itself. 
Take the loop where the rope goes under itself and put it over the other loop. Then wrap both loops around whatever object you're trying to tie, pull it tight, and there you go. I hope you found this knot making video helpful. Maybe you'll have an opportunity to use some of these knots on your next backpacking trip. If you do, be sure to leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching.